Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Daily Rays B and C lap guys. We are starting off with Daily Rays B at the Yamigawa. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, but we are in the GT3 class. It is a five lap race on racing hard tyres. A quick um, straight sprint out as always. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the um, info. Let's crack on with the lap guy. So as we start on the home straight, you want to be looking for the 50 board just here. You want to be doing a bit of about 50% braking power, get you uh, get down to fourth gear, start off wide and start getting as close as you can to the apex and then start using a bit of throttle control to maintain the speed. So when that last grandstand gets into the middle of the screen, that is your acceleration point to start pretty much full throttling out. If, you, if you're a bit too early, just uh, lift off this a teeny bit so you don't get onto the grass. Those double S's can be taken flat out, but once you come over the little press, you want to be looking for the apex, the beginning of the apex just here. So that is your, your beginning of your braking point. Again, light braking to control it and get as close as you can to the apex um, on your left, as I'm trying to do as much as I can, try, but try and maintain speed. Most of these corners, you've got to try and keep as much speed up as possible. Now, as we approach the awful chicane here, you want to be braking just before the 100 board. Full braking power down into third gear, some may, may take second, and you want to try and really take the first apex as you would normally do, but try and cut as much as you can on the second apex. But try and be careful because it is a bit of a weird corner. I know some cars, it can throw you off, so do be careful. Now your next braking point is the 35R that is on the track. I try and brake as late as I can on there. Full braking power down into second or first gear, depending on, on your car. As so they try and take it wide, come in and then start accelerating nicely out, because that car, you, you, you can spin out quite easy if you're not too careful. And now for the next awful chicane, Right, you need to be getting off the accelerator at the beginning of this apex, trying to get the car turning a little bit more. Once you straighten up in the middle of the chicane, get on the brakes quickly, down into third, clip the apex, and then try as much as you can. I had clipped the grass there, but luckily didn't spin out, but try and stay on the track. Now your last braking point is the Marshall box or just before the 50 meter board. Full braking power down into second gear. And then once you start um, go late and start coming in, and when you start accelerating back out, go into third gear for reduce of wheel spin. And there you go guys. That is your daily race B lap guide. Now let's head over to daily race C. Welcome everyone to this week's Daily Race C. We are back at Le Mans in the GT2 cars. It is a five lap race on racing medium tyres, but do have your inters and wets available because it is a dynamic race as well. So anything can happen in these races, so just make sure you are prepared. Um, just so you know as well, um, the CLK was the dominant car last time, but it has got a bit of a nerf and now the Audi RS5 and the Super GTs are all in contention in this game and uh, in this race as well. So pick your weapon and go for it and see what happens. But this is a lap guide mainly for the SLK. So let's crack on with it. So coming down the home straight, I should have fast forwarded this a little bit, so I do apologise. So come and stay, start off wide, start approaching in, and you want to be looking for that total sign just here. Once you get to pretty much where I am right now, you want to start full braking, going down into second or first gear. Get as close as you can to the first apex, clip the second apex, and then accel gently accelerate out. Try not to be too aggressive, or else you will spin out with these cars. Right, so this one is a tricky one, but your next braking point is that big lamppost on your right. Once that leaves your screen on the right, you want to start doing about 50% control braking power, um, control braking, sorry, into third gear, kick the first uh, apex, kick the second apex, and kick the third apex, which, which you 
which you can do no problem your next breaking point is the beginning of that blue strip on the right once that starts hitting your screen you want to go drop down into fourth gear a little bit of a braking and start tacking that corner but also be careful because if you put too much tires on the left or too much tires on the right offside the apexes you will get a penalty straight away so do be careful with that one you might have to practice that one quite um, a few times now your next breaking point is just before the 100 meter board or this tree that is a bit brighter than the other trees around it once that tree leaves your screen full braking power down into third or and into second gear and then gently accelerate back out for second gear you can do it in third but it will put compromise your acceleration out that corner now your next breaking point is again the 100 meter board or that little gap in between the trees once that hits your screen on the left on the right sorry full braking power down into second gear so you want to tack these corners a bit more lenient but just be careful again because you can get track penalties if you're not um, if you're a bit too aggressive into them now your next breaking point is the like the corner of this apex here you want to try and straight make sure you're straightening up and start full braking down into first gear see because i was turning a slight fraction it compromised my braking and i went wide so make sure you're in a straight line while braking into that corner and now your next breaking point is the end of this apex this one's a bit again a bit different uh, you start pretty much full braking down into second gear say why then go in because it's a bit uh, cambered and then start accelerating out but again that's one corner you can easily spin out on so be careful and your next breaking point for this right hander is the second gant sign once that hits your screen on the left full braking power down into first gear and lastly clip the apex on the right and gently accelerate back out again and then turbocharge it down to the Porsche curves and then <laughs> right so in these next couple of sections it all starts with this green section here you want to go drop it down to fifth or fourth gear a little bit of braking trying to keep as close as you can to the apex which I didn't do and then it is pretty much now throttle control for these next couple of corners you might have to drop it down to fourth in the CLK to keep it as close as you can to the apex which I didn't do again but then this second to last RMC sign is you just want to do a little fine tuning of braking and while turning at the same time and then just again full control it back out and make sure you, all your, um, your left tyres do not go over the apex and then your last break, well one of your last breaking points sorry is this um, big building on your right once that starts hitting your screen to the left full braking power quickly down into third gear attack the first apex and the second apex and then again straighten up break down into first gear for the last hairpin and there you go guys and then i had a little wonder just there but there you go guys thank you so much for watching i hope this helps you out for this week's race guys don't forget to drop a like and subscribe thank you for watching